In this video, we will explain how you can use this burning caliper to measure dimensions. So the burning caliper in this case has a precision of up to 0.05 mm. When the jaws are jaws are closed, make sure that the main scale zero and the vernier scale zero form a straight line. And you can select an external object by using the blue slider to adjust its size. And you can open the jaws either by dragging on the vernier scale or on the yellow slider bar. Now click on the object and put it inside the jaws. Close the jaws such that it can no longer go anymore. And look at the markings on the main scale. Since the zero mark on the vernier scale is roughly on the 12 to 13 mm marking so this is where the vernier scale helps to tell how much is it by so you look at the vernier scale you can see that actually it is the 5.5 mm mark that is perfectly aligned with the main scale therefore you can even try to key in the answer so the answer will be 12.55 mm To take a new measurement, click on the reset button. So you can see sometimes in real life, the vernier caliper could have a pre-existing error in the jaws. That means that when the jaws are perfectly closed, the measurement is not exactly at zero mark. So in this example, the zero error could, could be negative 0.2 mm, which means that the reading will be at negative 0.2, which is shown as 0.8, but it'd be lesser than zero. So when you open the jaws, put in the object, and then now you take a new measurement. So the main scale is 11 plus the reading of 0 0.3. So you need to subtract the zero error. So 11 plus 0 0.3 subtract negative 0.2. So you get 11.50 mm as your correct answer. So this vernier caliper simulation also can allow the student to measure internal measurements. So in this case, you can still use the same vernier caliper to take measurements of objects that look like a bow. Okay, so as shown in the green object. So you may also, as teachers, you may want to focus your students' attention. Though this is not recommended for students, but you can you can do this in order for the students to look more closely at the markings. And for assessment of learning, the student can key in into the input field to check whether the answers are correct. And again, by checking on the final answer, you can look at the answer is 19.45 mm. So the vernier caliper can also be used to measure depths, for example, test tubes. And you want to measure the depth of the test tube, so you can also adjust the length of the test test tube. And then you can use the vernier caliper in, in very much the same way uh, to assess the depth of the object. So you can see in this case it's 19.80, assuming that there are no zero errors.